Hi guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, this is a video about the model of functions for the first and second order reliability methods. And as well as the inverse form, inverse first order reliability method. This is a second version and on the second version of the files. What I did actually, I just pay attention more on accuracy. Right, in this room. Very few. Some problem. Accuracy much more right now. So, let me just show you and uh, what's going on. So we need two files. Before it was a setup, and inside setup we have a limit state. Now limit state already solved. Why? Because limit state could be called and modified from uh, outsource functions. And um, uh, for a setup, the same limit state is used uh, to set up uh, form zone limit state as well as inverse uh, problem limit state. Uh, the only difference is that for an inverse problem there is a parameter reserved uh, variable parameter which is called it has to be imparted. So let's see uh, as an example for example this is our uh, limit state function and we, we would like to see what's the form and so on of it. So we can just call uh, form and so on with the setup that provided already. You can call it, and a uh, couple of things again. DZ is going to be uh, uh, like a quotient for numerical differentiation. Uh, change in er, uh, now it's error to tolerance, uh, which is uh, what the limit state function value from uh, in a standard domain, domain. How much in absolute value we are accepting before solution is. Uh, public out. Uh, the mean vector, uh, standard deviation vector is the same. So mean vector is a vector position of the variable and its value. So it means that uh, x1 in a limit state, this here we go, x1 has a mean 2, standard deviation of 0.6, and uh, distribution normal, 1 corresponds to the distribution, and correlation with other variables, all of them are independent of this example. So, uh, variable number two is random variable with mean uh, uh, 2 times 10 to the power 7, with standard deviation 3 times 10 to the power 6, with distribution 1, which corresponds to normal, and it's independent and not correlated, and so on and so forth. About another transformation, 0, 1, it's again the same. On the second stage, we can choose Koleski or we can choose uh, eigen decomposition. And uh, novelty is about the constants. Constants. These three constants you can imply as anything, any object which you would like to pass to a limit state. So it can modify the limit state itself. So limit state it could be modified by this constants, what we are calling at this example, particular example. The constants will not be. Uh, used at all because it's not inside of the limit, it's not defined. So it could be matrix, it could be number, it could be vector, it could be any object, whatever you like. And so it's endless combination of the limits, it could be modified. So it means then we call uh, form and we call SORM. So we call form and we call SORM here. And the setup is uh, quite st straightforward as it was before, but with constants uh, are coming in. So let's see where we are now. If we run this example, what we will reach. Oops. There we go. So solution is found. So what we have, form solution, uh, has software and lean reliability index, limit state uh, value at the solution in the standard domain. So it's Close to zero, you did a good job. A number of iteration, uh, alpha vector, emission sensitivity factor. So you can treat this like, for example, if we assume a variable x3, x1, x2, x3 is coming, x3 will be constant, then it's okay because it's about 7% which contributes to the, uh, uh, to the variability in a, uh, a probability of failure. So it means uh, 
if it's money we can assume it's constant and just use only of these two so design point in uh, standard domain z is a standard domain x is a initial space gradient vector sign one it uh, means that design uh, design point in standard domain and alpha in standard domain they uh, they go to the same direction it's actually they pointing to the same direction it's up if opposite then it will be sign will be zero it's used to calculate actually you need that to calculate the probability of failure to know and uh, HR reliability index will be positive if it's on the same direction and it's negative if it's on opposite direction so then it's SORM and the SORM is called with the second function where it uses inputs from form and it goes to SORM SORM and form so SORM solution uh, its index alpha gradient vector again and the Hessian matrix at this time we also have a Hessian matrix okay so the same uh, same uh, problem might be solved if we call uh, with the constant for example the constant one I will define it as a 3600 in the setup over here now I use it so if we run it again we will get exactly the same solution as previously we just got so now mm, let's say we have inverse problem in this setup, just before English, in this setup, what we have, we have random variables, we have some limit state function based on it, combination of those, and we would like to know what the probability of failure of that. Now the inverse problem will be if we know the target reliable uh, target probability of failure or reliability, how much the parameter can vary and go up or down, or which value the parameter has to take, so it will reach our target reliability. So it's set up in the following way. So I have a limit state and I'm interested to find this parameter, for example, which corresponds to, let's see, uh, uh, we would like to find 48 actual value by parameter, let's say. So we have a equation, one unknown. Now I need to find, uh, I need to define how much the target reliability index do I want. And I just put the target reliability index exactly what I just got the output from the um, from the form. And uh, uh, let's say target reliability index. It's here. Here we go. It's this one. Let's say this is what we are interested. In. So parameter, I just pass the parameter to the, in the setup it goes to the limit state and passing it through the function input and its initial guess value is 1. So length of the parameter as a vector should be 1 because in limit state it's only is used one time. Okay, so once we just set this up, uh, what we can do, we can do now just run, run our inverse form is this function with again its setup and the constants could be used as well so for example I use a constant one to pass the 3600 in generally why I'm showing it because in a loop strategy you can just loop it up and change your limit state if it's necessary it's used for a new numerical to create a, a numerical analysis mainly as much as I remember now yeah. okay let's run this so what we got we got design constant output so about 48 and equation what this equation is equation is uh, if we define more than one parameter then we have one equation then we can have a multiple solution and you are getting out the closest to the line point uh, as output but as well as equation so you can just yourself just define how much the parameter you would like it to be such that it should be on an equation so in this case, for example, this equation is corresponds to, uh, so if we, uh, in the following way, the constant times parameter plus another uh, general constant, it will be zero. And uh, 
it defines I think I just have in the tech though so you can uh, take a look yeah it's over here so it's summation of the CI with the parameter I plus constant in our case if we want to solve uh, and find the value of the parameter is only one solution so if we take 0.15 to another side because the equation was plus if we take another side minus will be cancelled so if we divide it by uh, ci then we'll get the parameter so here we go we get the same value as it was reported this one okay now let's uh, work with uh, several other examples I think which are quite interesting and uh, uh, let's see example number this one has a parameter example number three for example let's do example number three now So number three distributions all are the same. Uh, no, it's uh, normal. And, um, let's see. And we are trying to reach the solution. And constants, I just don't use the constants in this case. So let's say we have a solution. We know the probability of failure and uh, index of it now if uh, if by somehow we have a uh, I think in this problem there was a uh, let me think it one of those problems where we can just uh, number three. yeah here we go so we know the length and uh, we are talking about the bending moment okay yes so now if we know uh, yeah uh, for example how much the strength now we ha can increase so that uh, the bending moment uh, uh, which is a, uh, should be sustained with the given reliability index inverse form problem that's what i just define over here so i increase the strength so the load is going to be the same such that probability of failure or uh, reliability index will be 3.99 so to solve such kind of problem and that's what we can do now. So, in the setup, again, uh, one parameter target reliability index 3.99, and uh, limit state now it's defined like parameter and uh, random variables in this case. So, here we go. We open again the reliability problem. The setup is almost the same. The only thing is we define the parameter and our target reliability, and we want to know how much. The constant should be how much uh, it could be up to 1.24 so okay we know the strength how much it could be increased if you want uh, target reliability to be met good and uh, another example is actually when we have more more than one parameter i will show you that too and the rest i will ask you to just read uh, the tech talk and uh, just follow the examples it's quite straightforward i think the mm, uh, here we go. Example number six is quite good. Uh, let's solve it first to see what we got. Example number six. Let's get the form and so on. Uh, see, uh, I'm never calling uh, inverse form mean time when I'm calling form or so because limit state is defined one way I mean the same function is used for both uh, both uh, 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 both methods so you cannot call them simultaneously mm. so let's see uh, let's say we would like to just run the example and see the solution and over here the setup is again the same x1 x2 x3 x4 distribution is like log normal normal gamble max and uh, normal again uncorrelated and uh, why i'm using in our, my examples uncorrelated because the correlation takes just a little bit longer time because you need to find the transformation of the 
so eigen and uh, eigen or Koleski decomposition, which is defining over here. The constants uh, 224 and the constants are used in the mid state. There you go. So we can just uh, see how much is it. So we see probability of failure it's 0 0.13 and solution found it's almost at the zero point at the limit state so quite good now let's go with the inverse problem let's say inverse problem i want to target a liability index to be two but in this case what we got we got that uh, our uh, parameter is a vector of from two parameter one and parameter two two members so we need to define that in our limit state so let's say this is how the effect parameter one is over here which is a effect on a x1 and parameter two is effects on a x2 and let's suppose it's a strength and then it, this is this x2 is a lot x1 x4 and x2 and x3 is a lot yes so save it save it so and what's wrong with it? Okay, here we go. So we have a parameter one and parameter two. Two parameters, well, it, it was estimated. Now the question, what's happening? This parameter can take 0 0.27 and this parameter can take almost zero, which means that uh, the, it's reporting actually the shortest distance to this equation, where we see the equation is. And um, we know that uh, one equation to unknown so several multiple solution is available the solution which is uh, reported is a solution which is closest to the line that's how it is so if we know that by design the parameter 2 can never like x4 has to be there and it cannot be zero or there's a limit we can always just solve this problem so it means that uh, this equation is, we compare it with the equation, or what I just told you. So this is how it's defined. See what's happening? So, yeah, over here. This one. So it's look like this. So it's parameter one times this plus parameter two times this plus constant which is in negative sign uh, is equal to zero right so it's the same if we say if we take the constant to another side of the equation we can just put equal. so any combination of those which means that the any combination of p1 p2 is a solution actually okay uh, that's it that's what i want to show now thanks and uh, i just if uh, i just make a trial version which is limited you can only use uncorrelated and normal variables uh, full version uh, please just follow instructions and i will send you a full version of three functions as i'm, I'm showing those ones but it's going to be uh, actually p codes not m codes uh, you can download the tech doc and also i just uh, create linkedin uh, group such that because sometimes i'm receiving the same question from multiple people so i was thinking if we are going to having such a issue so why, why don't we just have a linkedin group where we can have post a solution uh, so many people can just read it so it's more public available so for you to out for follow to care it may welcome to applications and 12 and, and test it against the simulation and it works so thanks and uh, thank you very much